rewrite minus 2 sine x plus 2 cosine x in the form a sine of x plus c. So where do I want to start on that? Well, if you recall, we had a formula that said that the a times the sine of x plus b cosine of x. Now that resembles, right, what we were given. And what does that tell us? Well, it gives us an a value. It says a equals minus 2 and b equals 2. Well, what do we know about that? We know that that forms an ordered pair. Now, what is it that that ordered pair tells us? Well, it tells us that the terminal side is going to go through this point. So you might just write terminal side to kind of remember what we just talked about. So my terminal side is going to go through minus 2, 2. Now, what else do we know about this a sine x plus b cosine x? Remember, that's called a reduction formula. So for the reduction formula, what does that equal? Well, it equals the square root of a squared plus b squared times what? Times sine of, sorry about that, of x plus alpha. So those two are comparable. Those two equal exactly the same thing. So now what I need to find is I need an alpha value. So how am I in the world am I going to do that? Well, I need to find out what alpha is in order to plug that value into this equation. What if we do the sine of alpha equals b over the square root of a squared plus b squared? Now, how did I do that? That's based on our trig rules, which you should be very flexible with right now. So if I simplify this, I know b, so I've got 2 over the square root of negative 2 squared plus 2 squared, which will simplify to 2 square root of 8 on the bottom. Now, if I've got that, I know that that does simplify to 2 over 2 square root of 2, which will simplify again, right? That's going to be 1 over the square root of 2, but I need to rationalize that, and when I do, I get the square root of 2 over 2. So now that's sine of alpha. Well, does that help me? Sure it does, because now I can find alpha. So what is alpha that gives me the square root of 2 over 2 that would pass through the point negative 2, 2? Well, I need to know where is that. Well, negative 2, 2 is going to be in quadrant 2. So I need to find a value for alpha that is in quadrant 2 that equals the square root of 2 over 2. And if you recall, if you do it in degrees, that's fine, but make sure you do put it in radians. So you could say it's 135 degrees, or we know that that's going to be the same thing as 3 pi over 4. So there's alpha. Well, now that I know alpha, I can solve the equation that I started with on the left-hand side. So this is going to equal 2, and we know that a squared, so we're going to have minus 2 squared, plus b, which is 2, so 2 squared. Then I want to take the sine of x plus alpha. Now alpha is what we just found, so that's 3 pi over 4. I need to simplify what I can. So we've already done the square root of a squared plus b squared, right? We did it over here on the right-hand side and that was the square root of 8, and I still have my sine hanging out. And then I can actually simplify the square root of 8, which gives me 2 square root of 2 sine of x plus 3 pi over 4. 